This is The Process Shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater. And I've seen Goodnight Mommy, a new psychological horror film from director Matt Sobel. It follows twin brothers Elias and Lucas and their visit with their mother, who has divorced from their father and become a bit distant since. Her coldness does not go unnoticed, and the boys begin to believe that something may in fact be wrong with her, if this woman even is her at all. As their mother's increasingly frantic actions lead the boys to assume the worst, their attempts to either learn the truth of the matter or escape the home and survive lead to revelations that are... Honestly, it's easy to see them coming before the actual reveal. Yeah, this movie is a pretty slow burn, taking its sweet time building up the suspense and paranoia within the twins, and focusing more on the psychological drama than any actual horror. There are quite literally two scenes within the movie that are in line with actual horror, and they're little more than jump scares that go right back to the slower, sleepier story at play. Which, I will say, does have a few subtle themes about parenting and dealing with past traumas. But they aren't as constant a presence as the filmmakers had probably intended. Calling these scenes sleepy may seem like an exaggeration, but that's just how boring these scenes can become more often than not, repeating a basic structure of having the boys witness or experience something unusual, talking about it between each other, and then looping back to the first thing. Even when the story does break from that formula, it still finds a way to put a damper on any momentum. I feel like it's just doing whatever it can to keep the film in one location with as few actors as possible on screen, which isn't very exciting when you realize it means being stuck with two child actors who can read their lines well enough, but that's about it. Then again, it could just be their actual characters are annoying at times and unlikable at others which just makes the film's final twists and the overall ending that much worse. I don't want to touch on any spoilers, but it also doesn't help that the main twist becomes apparent the moment that things break from the formula, given that it only makes some character actions more frustrating and the end result unsatisfying, no matter how much you might have enjoyed or tolerated the film before. The technical aspects of Goodnight Mommy are pretty bland, though given how little effort was put into the story, the lack of a strong production value is no surprise. Again, the entire film takes place in almost one location, uh, the mother's house, severely limiting the creative possibilities for the film's visual makeup, with flat and stale angles that seem to repeat themselves over several shots either because they didn't want to move the camera between takes, or because they thought the audience might get confused somewhere. I don't think that would have been a problem, since, again, the movie itself is paced so slowly through editing that you have plenty of time to think about what's going on in a scene. Because of how long it takes for something to actually happen, it does give the film a dreadful and suspenseful tone, but it's a tone that's almost incompatible with the kind of story that it wants to tell. Or at least for the way that the story wants to tell it. I mean, it might have worked if the film were a bit tighter in editing, or if it were shorter than it actually is. At the very least, I think a snappier film might have played out better, even if the ending were the same. Then again, with everything that's actually in the story, I'd bet that a shorter film would only be better because it would be done sooner. Good Night, Mommy. Matt Sobel, 2022. One star. 
I wouldn't recommend seeing it unless you want an example of how to wreck a reveal several minutes before the audience is supposed to catch on. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. Yeah, this film is kind of a slog. Well, no, it pretty much is a slog. I can only wonder how much downtime could have been cut out in a shorter edit. Probably a few minutes. Hopefully 15 minutes. <laughs>